hello everyone today we are going to see the next method that is again drawing a regular polygon but by the using the inscribe circle method so by using this method we will try to draw a polygon so first so we will draw a given line of the given length suppose this is this side having the 70 mm length so this we will mark the one of the side ab of given length 70 mm so now with the help of the compass we will take a as a center and ab as a radius then we will draw one semicircular arc Then we will extend this line AB towards the left hand side from this So this is the semicircle we got So here we will mark this point as a C Now this CB as a diameter and we have got one semicircle. So this semicircle we have to divide the equal number of parts of which polygon we are going to draw. Suppose if you are going to draw the pentagon then this the semicircle we have to divide into five parts. If you are going to draw the hexagon then we have to divide this into the six equal number of parts. So here we will try to uh, draw a hexagon so we have to divide into six equal number of part this the semicircle now we know already that the total angle of this semicircle is 180 degree and we have to divide into six equal parts means each angle it comes of the 30 degree so here what we will do we will mark this now see this is what we will get on line so here we got the 30 degree we have marked then we will take this distance in the compass And then we will go on marking this is the next second this is the third this is the fourth and then this is the fifth point that we get now we will mark so this is the first point this is the second point so this is the third this is the fourth and this is the fifth now what we will do we will draw a line which is joining to this point 2 to a so that is the second point on this the semicircle so now see here we got the one of the side a b and another side a to 2 now next we'll draw perpendicular bisector of this side a b and this side a to 2 so we'll take the compass and we'll try to divide this so by taking distance more than half in a compass this is one arc similarly here also we will get another arc here at the bottom side then I will change this put on the another point it will cut here 
cut here so we'll put this this is one hour this is the another hour and that will put here so we will get this hour and this is the another now here we have drawn the two perpendicular y sector so now we will draw this similarly we will draw this one So we will extend this line here. Now see here the two perpendicular bisector they will meet here. Right. So what we did we have drawn the perpendicular bisector of this line AB and perpendicular bisector of this line A2 2. Now these two bisector that they will meet here and that will mark as a point O. Now next by taking this O as a center and this O to A as a radius or O to B or O to 2 this radius we will take and we will try to draw one circle now next we will take this a to b distance in a compass and we will mark the arcs so here one then this is the next and then we will put here we will get the another R now you can see whatever the points we got this is the A B and we will mark this is the point that is C this is the point D, this is the point E. So now what we will do? We will try to join. So already we have got A to B one of the side of this hexagon and A to 2 another side. So similarly we will try to join this B to C then C to D, then D to E, then E to 2. So this is how we got the hexagon by using inscribe circle method. I hope you have understood this. Thank you.